Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, I'm going to show you a new glitch that was found in Halo 5. With the new DLC update that came out just the other day, they added some requisition weapons to the Forge palette. And so you have to go into Forge to do this, but obviously you can use your custom maps, or even the standard maps once you've, mo once you've modified them. Uh, so you can pretty much do whatever you want, but this glitch allows you to assign certain weapon attributes to other weapons. And it's very, very simple to do. So all you do is go into your monitor mode and spawn in a weapon pad. So far, so good. Very simple. Press X on that, go to your object properties, and go down here to where it says weapon pad. You have weapon and configuration. Now, what you want to do is find the weapon that you want the attributes from. So, in this case, we're just going to leave it at the sniper because it's already there. We're going to switch it over to end of the line. Now, up at the weapon category, you switch to the weapon you want to have those attributes. So, a particularly interesting combination I found is just going to the Spartan laser using the sniper as the configuration. It'll switch it at the bottom. Don't worry about that. It's still going to keep that sniper configuration. So you just back out of there and you can place this wherever you want to. I'm just going to leave it there. I'll drop it and I will come back in as a Spartan. Now I'm holding what looks like a laser, but it's going to fire sniper around. And you can see every time I pull the trigger, it fires a sniper around. It doesn't use up any battery. And in fact, it'll keep firing as long as I hold in a charge. So it's kind of like a full auto sniper. But once I do fire, it will use up some of the laser's ammo capacity. So you can technically run out of ammo in this case. But every weapon interacts differently with the other configurations. So some things don't work at all. Some fire super slow. Some, it's just some things don't work, some do. So you're going to have to play around with it. Uh, here's another example of one that does work particularly well. We can go in, we'll spawn a new weapon pad. We'll switch that down to... Let's, uh, let's use a, a needler. Those are usually fun to mess with. So we can take a needler, switch that to the hailstorm, and then we can go... I would recommend something full auto because full auto tends to uh, work better with something that's full auto. So we could use the saw. We could use... Here's one that I think is kind of fun. We'll use a, a chain turret. And you might want to switch the weapon settings to have extra ammo because that will have an impact on how they perform. But that's good right there, so let's back out, let's leave that, let's pick up the turret. Looks like a standard chain turret, but it will fire needle rounds. Now, to my knowledge, they're leaving this in. Uh, it will overheat, by the way, but it, it'll still basically fire full auto needle rounds. So I think they're, I'm pretty sure they said they're going to leave this in because there's just too much fun to be had doing this, which is a pretty good thing. Now, one thing I want to show you, just to show you how some things behave very strangely once you do this. Uh, and there's so many different combinations, I couldn't tell you all of them, but this one is particularly interesting, I think. So let's go down. We want to switch to a rocket launcher. All right, we're going to switch that to the Ad Victorium. And then we're going to switch this to something that's a single fire weapon. We're going to go to the light rifle. All right. So it should be a light rifle that fires three rockets. And the rockets for the Ad Victorium, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, are homing if you aim down sight. So let me show you what happens when I fire without aiming down sight. It fires the three rockets, but while they're ballistic, they will break um, like uh, fusion coils and things like that. They don't actually blow up on impact. They will, however, eventually blow up. It's a very strange thing they do. You can get up next to them, no problem, but once they do blow up, they have the full impact of the rockets. Now, you guys know that the light rifle has a very particular scope. It looks very obvious that it's a light rifle, but since this is the Ad Victorium, it looks kind of like the Ad Victorium. It's a weird combination of the two. Now with the Ad Victorium, if you do this and you fire, it fires the cluster missiles and you can actually guide them by aiming. Now, when I do that, it just fires a regular light rifle around. However, if I want to control the missiles, I can fire and then zoom in, and then I have full control of the missiles again. So very interesting combinations available. You guys are going to really have to just play with them and see how it works out. Uh, another particularly interesting one, and I'll leave you guys with this one because I think it's pretty cool. We'll spawn in our weapon pad. We'll go down to our weapon. We want to do something explosive, particularly explosive. Let's go to the River of Light, probably my least favorite explosive weapon. Uh, so that one you can charge it or single fire. So we're going to find a weapon that will charge or single fire. The easiest one for that is 
the plasma pistol. So let's do that. Let's back out. We'll leave it right there. So this should be a river of light plasma pistol. Single fire. It does fire the uh, the charge or the uncharged shot. And if we charge it in, you can see that orange glow, and it will do the river of light. So lots and lots of combinations for you guys to experiment with. You can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you can add bayonets to things. It's just very interesting in the combinations you can come up with. So guys, I. I I'd suggest you go out and try some things. Let me know how they work out, what what things are fun, what things don't work, what things do. Let me know what you think. Maybe we'll end up doing a video about it or something like that. But I thought you guys might want to know about this because it's pretty fun and can definitely lead to some uh, interesting experiences within Halo 5. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have video game content, action figure content, movie, TV, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.